is no way I can do 3 to the 50th power. That looks impossible in 10 seconds. Stop. You do not need the giant number. You just need its remainder when you divide by 7. First, we list the powers of 3 and reduce each one modulo 7. So, I keep multiplying by 3, then take the remainder after dividing by 7. Watch the remainders. 3, then 2, 6, 4, 5, and finally 1. When we hit 1, it feels like we are back at the start. Exactly. Once you see 1, the pattern will repeat. That gives us a cycle of length 6. So any exponents that differ by 6 share the same remainder. That means for huge powers, only the exponent modulo 6 matters. So 3 to the 50th just needs the exponent reduced modulo 6. Here is the full cycle. 3, 2, 6, 4, 5, 1. Then it loops again. Nice. That loop is the secret weapon. Now we crush 3 raised to the 50th power using that cycle. Okay, what do we do with the exponent 50? Divide 50 by 6. 6 times 8 is 48, so the remainder is 2. So 50 is 6 times 8 plus 2. The important part is that remainder 2. That means 3 raised to the 50th power is 3 raised to the 6th power to the 8th power times 3 squared. Nice. We turned one huge power into a bunch of small ones. But 3 raised to the 6th power was 1 in our cycle, so that whole chunk behaves like 1. So we just keep the 3 squared part for the remainder. 3 squared gives remainder 2, and 1 times 2 is just 2. So the final answer is 2. 3 to the 50th mod 7 equals 2. All from spotting a 6-step cycle in the remainders. I love it. Giant powers solved in seconds. Please like, share, and subscribe.